Hi, I'm Yusuf Mehdi. I'm here with Mark Witten. Hey, everyone. We're from the Xbox team, and we're going to walk you through the Xbox One user experience on the real live Xbox One machine. And what we want to focus on is how games and entertainment come together to create some real magical experiences for you. Let's go ahead and just jump right in. So what you see here is the Xbox One home screen. Uh, it's not yet signed in, and what we're going to do is kind of walk you through it. In the center here are the last couple things I was doing, playing a game, watching a movie. To the left is where I can actually customize it so I can put the things I most care about and want to get to right there, whether that be games, movies, TV, music. And if I go to the right, I can see uh, access to a library of great entertainment. Let me show you the first uh, real kind of magic moment, which is how we can, for the first time ever, personalize the TV experience around you and get all the things that you care about right there, no passwords required, simply get automatically get signed in with the Power Connect. To demonstrate that, I had covered up the Connect initially, so it wouldn't see us. I'll just go ahead and pull that cover off. And now, as if we walked in the room, Mark is automatically recognized, and then I'm recognized, and we're presented with our own custom uh, home screen. It had Mark there first, so Mark, why don't you kind of walk us around your home screen? Sure, so you can see it's now transformed around me and my content, and so the tiles are blue. That's my customized color that I've chosen, and you can see uh, right next to the, the big tile in the middle, I've got my social information, my gamer pick, my friends, all of that kind of stuff, and we're going to show a little more of that later. Uh, we talk about some of the Xbox Live features. And of course, if I go over now, I have my pins. So this is all the content that I've decided I want to save. And on any Xbox that I log into, I'm going to get my content. It'll always be there for me. But it gets even better than that. So not only can Mark have his, but as you can see, we can both be here and we can get back and forth between us really magical, literally by saying, show my stuff. Let me show you how that works. Xbox, show my stuff. And just like that, I now get uh, brought to my own personal dash screen. You can see I have green as my theme because I'm on brand uh, here for Xbox. And if I go over here to the left, what you can see are my pins. So I've pinned some music, TV shows I like to follow. So why don't you show some of the other features you like here, Mark? Sure. So the first thing I want to do is really take you on a tour of how easy it is to move around in, in your games and throughout all of the other experiences that you can do on Xbox One. To start, I'll take back control. Xbox. Show my stuff. And so I'm back in my, with my stuff, and I'm going to go right back where I was. I was playing a little Forza earlier. Xbox, go to Forza Motorsport 5. And you can see that it's left off right where I left it, right where I'd pause the screen. So I'll just start, and I'm playing with no waiting. I didn't have to load. I didn't have to find my save game. I'm right back where I left off. Fast. But the great thing about Xbox One is I haven't left anything behind. I'm still there with all of my content, with the dashboard, with any of the other applications I want to go to. Xbox, go to Internet Explorer. And now I'm in Internet Explorer. Xbox, watch TV. I'm back in some TV I was watching. Xbox, go to Forza Motorsport 5. And I'm right back to where I was in my game, and I can keep playing. I can go in and out of stuff. I can find the content I care about and just move through it really, really quickly. To just give you one more example, I'm just going to move through a bunch of stuff in the system really quickly. Xbox, go to Hulu Plus. Xbox, go to Netflix. Xbox, go to Friends. Xbox, go home. And of course, while I'm using my voice, I could also use the gamepad. In fact, anytime you want, you can press this one button and get right back to the home, move around the system, go into the content that, that you want and that you care about, you know, like Forza uh, or, you know, like TV. So that was great, very fast. Now, one of the things people have asked us is, hey, what's the value of having entertainment and gaming brought together? Why does that get better if really what I mostly like to do is gaming? <clears throat> I'm going to show you a couple of magical examples here. Imagine, for example, here I'm watching television. I'll go ahead and turn the volume down on that a little bit. And now what I've got is a multiplayer invite just came across. So this is an invite for Mark and I to join a game. You wouldn't get that today on today's system. But here with Xbox, you never miss a moment. You're able to go right to the thing that you care the most about. Here's another notification opportunity. Uh, with Skype, now, because of the Connect and because we are automatically signed in, we know if you're in the living room. And so if someone's trying to reach you via Skype, we can send that invite right to the television, right to where, you're, where we are. And so in a second here, we're going to have someone from our team send us a Skype invite. There it is. Xbox, answer. 
And just like that, even while I'm watching TV, I can automatically be brought to a Skype call. Now, uh, what we've got here is we're going to actually show you Skype in, with two Xbox Ones. So we're using Kinect with that beautiful 1080p camera that can show you a widescreen view. So it's not just a little face shot you get sometimes with your phone and your laptop, which are also great and also work with the Xbox. This is a good example of going Xbox to Xbox. All right, so we've made our connection here coming in. There's Harry. Hey, Harry, how are you? Hey, guys, how's it going? Good. Thanks for joining us for the demo. Show us the power of the widescreen uh, connect here. Yeah, absolutely. Let me just give you a quick tour of my living room here. Uh, you know, here's the left wall. Pretty interesting. What's nice about this is as I walk, the connect sensor follows me. And it's actually not using motors to move the camera. It's using just software and focusing, being smart about where I am in the room. We'll also use that smarts if there are more than one person in the room to make sure everybody's picked up on the picture. Yeah, I want to say, have you say hi to somebody for me. She's always hoping someone will Skype in so she can bark at them or at least just visit with them. So. That's fantastic. Shameless, but I love bringing the dog into the demo, Harry. <laughs> what can I say? It looks really good. Uh, and I think one of the powers there is that uh, Connect can actually read the skeletal frame. That's how it's doing some of that magic. Harry, thanks very much. Maybe show us one last feature from, uh, from, from Skype here. Yeah, absolutely. Xbox, hang up. <laughs> All right, so there's a little bit of a look of how Skype just looks fantastic in the living room. It's going to be great for the family. Um, anyways, now, one of the other great features we've got, of course, with Xbox is Xbox Live. And uh, no better guy to walk us through it. Mark, why don't you show some of the new things in live here in Xbox One? Absolutely. And, you know, to do that, I'm going to get right back where we were in Forza. And you'll remember, even through all that, we're right back. I can come back into the game. And so one of the things I want to show here is one of my favorite features, which is our game DVR. So I'll go around here real quick, and, uh, you know, we'll do something fun. Just play a little bit. And at any point in time, Xbox, record that. And just like that, I've told Xbox I want to keep that last few seconds and really create something magic with it. And you see it's already ready as one of my game clips. And I could keep playing, but what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to take action on that real quick to show you some of our editing capabilities. Uh, so I've gone in here to my notifications, and we'll edit the clip that we just created. Uh, so as we move in here into our upload studio, which gives you these capabilities, you can see it's got the clip that I had captured, and we'll start editing. And one of the fun things I think we'll do is maybe add a little bit of picture-in-picture -picture using Connect again uh, to really capture some of what we were thinking as we went through that great clip. So it's got my, my clip from the game there, and I'll just move up here and do Record with Connect, uh, and uh, Connect gets started here. Uh, hey, cameraman, wave hi there. Yeah. Uh, and we'll start recording. At that time, uh, what you'll see, the game clip will start, and uh, we're in the middle of narration mode. So we can narrate, you know, like as I went, like, it's, Mark, that was a tremendous yeah. turn. How'd you pull that off? Well, it's the right trigger, actually. It's gas, and then there's, like, turning. And so I, I did a lot of that as I did it. Uh, all right, so we've created our clip. I'll stop recording. Uh, and uh, just have a little bit of fun. Uh, maybe we'll add some uh, a skin to it. I like the uh, slam skin, so I'm going to pick slam. Uh, and we will uh, finish it and upload it onto the service. Uh, so I could enter a name. I could tag it. I could do all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, but I'm going to skip that uh, and start the upload. And just like that, we start rendering uh, our video and getting going. Uh, and in just a couple of seconds here, uh, we'll see how we did. Here we go. Uh, and we're right in the middle of our clip. Uh, we've created something special, and it's already being uploaded onto the live service so that all my friends could see it so that it's a part of that experience. Yeah, that's fantastic. I think actually might be good. Why, why, since we're doing this, why don't we show them the how friends actually get notified about those great clips coming up. Great idea. So uh, let's just go right back into that friends area that I told you about earlier when we went to the dashboard. Uh, and the first thing that you're going to notice is what we call uh, our activity feed. So I have all of the stuff that I can get to, but one of the really cool features is I get this view of what all of my friends have been doing on the service. So whether they're, what games they're playing, uh, if they've unlocked uh, an achievement, if they've uh, uploaded a video, it's right here for me. It's really rich and it's really, really fast to get to. So a really great way for you to discover content uh, and see what people have been doing. Uh, as well, uh, here's where I get to my profile of my friends and our new feature, followers, which allows everybody to, that wants to to keep track of me or to follow me. I, of course, can control uh, what people see, but it lets more people see my activity feed. Uh, and you, can, you might imagine following you know, some of the top gamers. It's a great way to discover people that you might want to play with. All right. And then the last thing I'll show real quick is, of course, it's about your achievements and getting really rich achievements and your profile. So I'll go up to my profile. 
Uh, and you can see we've got our great 1080 gamer pick. I've used my avatar for mine. Uh, and we can see the recent activity that I've been doing, my game clips. I could do this with any of my friends, and of course this is where I could join a party, and it's all right there for me, it's always ready. Now one of the challenges with live television is finding what you want to watch. And sometimes what is on is what you're looking for, but sometimes you also want to do catch-up TV. Sometimes you want to be able to have just the things you care about. Xbox Show Guide. Now what we've done is we've pulled together all of that in one really powerful tool called the One Guide. I can do a few things here. I can navigate with my voice. Xbox Select. What's on HBO? What's on ABC? What's on ESPN? That's pretty cool. Very simple. You can get around just to the things that you want. In addition now, I can also get my own favorites. So what I've done is I've created my own favorites list here. And let me go up here and show you. I've got, for example, Sundance Channel and HBO. But I can also add uh, app channels. So for example, I've added Hulu Plus, the popular shows and the uh, popular episodes, as a channel on my one guide. I've even added that application from the NFL as another channel. And over time, you can imagine adding videos, um, adding photo sites, literally one place where I can create my own channel, all my content in one place, customized to me. Mark has his own. Why don't you show me yours, Mark? Sure. Xbox Show Guide. And just as you would expect, it goes to my content. We're even in with my blue highlights. And I've got a different set of favorites and even a different set of app channels that I've pinned on mine. I've got a little machinima that I, that I like to get, catch up on the latest gaming videos. And this is the power of Xbox One, whether it's gaming, whether it's your friends and social, whether it's television, it's always personalized to you and it's super simple and instant to move throughout the system. So there, hopefully you get to see a little bit of look at the Xbox One uh, overall experience. We're really excited for you guys to get to try it out in your home. Thanks very much. Thanks everybody.